Now, your storm track weather with meteorologist Kyle Borkett. Hey there, Northeast Kansas, and welcome back to KSNC News. Hope everybody had a great holiday weekend, stayed safe, and also stayed warm. Temperatures, no doubt, were super chilly as we turned from 2017 into 2018. Here's our KSNT weather cam network. We're actually facing the northeast sky this morning. Lots of stars out there. We actually captured the nearly full moon late last night as well. So a pretty picture, but of course, this time of the year, clear skies at night allow for one thing, and that's those temperatures to free fall. You're waking up to temperatures sub zero this morning by eight o'clock, just two degrees. More sunshine though. Hey, at least the skies look pretty. 14 midday, and then a high temperature this afternoon still below freezing 24 for the afternoon high. Remember, the northern half of northeast Kansas still has a wind chill advisory has now been updated, set to expire today at 11 a.m. Something to keep in mind, not really a windy forecast today, but once the sun is up at about 740 this morning, we'll see a lot of it, and it could stir up a little bit of a breeze, maybe 5 to 10 miles an hour, making for these really cold temperatures to feel even colder. These are actual air temperatures this morning. It's never a good start to a day when the temperature map features pink and purple colors. That means it's uh, really cold. We're 12 below in Hiawatha, for example, up north in Brown County. We're at negative 7 in Holton, 2 below in Topeka and Rossville, and negative 5 Linden, Osage City, and Quinimo. How about a balmy 1 degree above zero? in Emporia. All about your temperature forecast today. Here's our KSNT future track temps. We'll watch the time up in the title. This is lunchtime. So uh, for your lunch break, it'll just be really cold again. 15 to 16 degrees. High temperatures this afternoon, low to mid-20s. That's where we clock in at about 4 p.m. Wrapping things up in a forecast for you today from KSNT Storm Track Weather. The weather pattern looks pretty boring, honestly, between now and the upcoming weekend. At least we are headed in the right direction in terms of the temperature trend. Yesterday, those highs were in the teens. Today, they'll be in the 20s. But those wind chills, even after lunchtime, could be as cold as about 5 below. Tonight, we fall to 12, a chilly overnight period, but notice the temperature trend for the rest of the week. We are still cold, maybe getting close to the freezing mark by Friday. Lots of sun during the day, lots of starry skies at night. However, into the upcoming weekend, we're a lot warmer. Saturday, how about 40? That's going to feel really nice. Sunday, we're getting close to 50, but that comes with a price. It'll be kind of a major storm system across the eastern half of the country. Once it moves through our neck of the woods, probably first starting as rain in its kind of infant form. And it, once it pushes farther to the east, we'll be on the cold side of it. So if it's still raining Sunday night into Monday morning, it'll turn quickly into wet snow with overnight temperatures at that point in time in the 20s. But until then, a super boring forecast in Gretchen. Some of our viewers are trying to talk to me this morning on Facebook and Twitter, and I sincerely appreciate that. A lot of weather questions coming oh, yeah. in. If we look farther into the crystal ball, let's say we had a 14 or a 20-day forecast, mm -hmm. it looks a bit warmer. Now, warm Fingers for crossed. January standards. <laughs> yeah. Our average high right now is 39, but this recent cold blast since even before Christmas time looks to be maybe dying a little bit. So that could be some encouraging news over the next couple weeks. Absolutely, and also some pretty exciting news this morning for our network.